right, so here he is, the ubiquitous Nick Diaz. It's hard to quantify his contribution to mixed martial arts. I will just lead by saying that this man brought a lot of fans into this sport, and when he fights, the building's still packed to the nights. Yes, absolutely. Nick Diaz has a fan base that will follow him through anything, and rightfully so. He won the Strike Force Baltimore Championship, defended it in a ton of crazy fights, knocking out Paul Daly, knocking out Marius Zoromskis, yeah. and then coming back to the UFC and getting wins over BJ Penn, fight George St. Pierre, and then also sharing the octagon with Anderson Silva. So it was only big fight for Nick Diaz because he was such a star and such a draw. And sometimes people lose sight of just how good he was in his prime. 2008 to 2011, Nick Diaz won 11 consecutive fights. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to 
shake down Epton. Perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Why did he Good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Oh. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Diaz. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Oh, hook to the head by Diaz. These boys are going at it. Continuing to go to the head. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Right hook to the head. Oh! Oh! With authority, the body. Oh, how about the end of that round? He got knocked down just before the horn, saved by the bell. So now back to the... He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Nice jab by Diaz. Oh, big elbow. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut. Wild. Oh! Oh! Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Diaz. That he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't. Well, oh, it looks like the ref has paused the action here. Oh, he's going to call in the doctor to look at that cut. I don't know, John. It looks bad, man. It's a bad cut. I don't know what the decision is going to be here. we we'll go either way. Doctor taking a close look, and despite all the damage, it appears as though he will allow the athlete to continue, at least for now. You ready? You ready? All right, so some pretty significant oh, adversity God. here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the left gets his back on the run. This is right back on the way, and it doesn't seem like there was... Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Diaz is doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. Diaz's eye is closing up.
Oh, we now go inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz, ladies and gentlemen, probably will be a subdued celebration as usual, but make no mistake about it. This was a big win here tonight and a very impressive performance out of Nick Diaz. Perhaps his next fight will be for the UFC welterweight title.